an honor to have you all here today. We know you've traveled from all over the state. Uh, and we're here to recognize and pass out, obviously, this, uh, these projects. The governor's releasing more than $12 million today in community development block grants. The governor's totally committed to make West Virginia a better place to live. And we know that water, sewer, broadband makes West Virginia and a lot of places a better place to live. <laughs> These uh, community developed block grant funding projects represent our ongoing commitment to the state. And we hope these investments will improve the quality of life for many of you. Today's ceremony will be in two phases. First, we're going to do the water and sewer awards. Then we're going to do, after that, the broadband awards. Uh, this program this year has nine water and sewer infra infrastructure projects that will serve more than 8,400 citizens. Uh, the 10.6 million dedicated to these projects will, le will leverage and bring draw down about 11 more million federal, state, local funds, which result, uh, which result in new water and sewer infrastructure for about 4,100 households. So let's get started. Mary Jo will walk to the podium, and there she is. And, and uh, I'm going to step over here, and she's going to call out your name. Welcome everyone, so happy to have you here. Let me tell you how this is going to work because we have a lot of people, so we're going to get through this as efficiently as we can. I will announce the awards the governor's making, and then the group that's involved with the projects, if you can just come right to the center here, Steve will take care of your pictures, and then we'll just continue uh, to rotate in that fashion. Okay. So first up, very excited to announce that Governor Justice will be giving $800,000 to the town of Davis in Tucker County. Would everybody involved in that project please step forward uh, for a picture with the chief. upgrade of the town's municipal water system. The project benefits 432 existing households. It replaces various age and deteriorated water lines within the existing distribution system. It restores a water impoundment and provides improvements to the municipal water treatment plant originally built in 1968. Congratulations to the town of Davis. Governor Justice is thrilled to award the town of Pax $1,100,000. Would everyone associated with that project please come forward? <laughs> this is the Pax Municipal Sewer System Improvement Willis Branch Sewer Line Extension. Project benefits 462 existing households. 52 new households, uh, and this will enable the town of Pax to upgrade its existing wastewater treatment plants, serving 160 residences, and to extend public sewer service to approximately 52 households in the Willis Branch area. Congratulations to the town of Pax. $1,216,000 to Upshur County Commission. Would everybody associated with that project please come forward? This is improvements to the Elkins Road PSD water distribution system. The project benefits 82 existing households served. It will make improvements to the Elkins Road PSD's existing water distribution system and extend water service to 82 households, including upgrade of two water tanks, replacement of 14 deteriorated water lines, addition of two booster stations and emergency generators at four booster stations. Congratulations to the Upshur <laughs> Justice awards 
$1,300,000 to the town of Norfolk in McDowell County. Would everybody associated with that project please step forward. water system. The project benefits 112 current customers and 296 new customers. The project provides upgraded water service to 112 current, 296 new customers to the McDowell PSD water system. The PSD will also take over water service for the towns of North Fork and Keystone and serve the areas of Upland, Palatine, and Cal. But congratulations to the town of North Fork. $350,000 gallon water storage tank 
cast iron water lines and 25 meters while enhancing fire protection service. So congratulations to the town of Salem. Justice awards $1,066,000 to Tyler County Commission. Would everyone involved please come forward? <laughs> Water extension. The project benefits 43 existing household serves. And this project will provide new water service to 43 households and make a positive impact for Borman Elementary School and the Tyler County 4-H Camp. So congratulations to Tyler County. Congratulate all the recipients of the water. Proud to announce for the first time in the state's history that more than one and a half million dollars uh, from uh, these funds will be dedicated to 12 broadband projects. These projects will provide the blueprints and the infrastructure for high-speed internet connectivity to more than 300,000 homes and more than 713,000 residents in the state of in the Mountain State. Kelly Workman is the CDBG expert that has been able to inf uh, infuse these funds into the broadband arena, which support the Broadband Enhancement Council. Kelly, we thank you. Where is she? Is. Broadband Enhancement Council is also with us today. At this time, I'll turn the podium over to Kelly and I'll go back over there for a few minutes. <laughs> Thank you, Chief Paul. Uh, we definitely appreciate everyone being here with us today. We are extremely pleased to announce the first recipients of CDBG funding for broadband in the state of West Virginia. And we are deeply appreciative of Governor Justice's leadership on this critical issue. Um, at this time, I'd like for the Chairman of the Broadband Enhancement Council, Rob Hinton, to say a few words. Thank you, <clears throat> Kelly, and thank you, Chief Hall. Uh, on behalf of the Broadband Enhancement Council, uh, we're pleased to join you today. Um, last year, about this time, we had encouraged the Governor's Office to open up CDBG funds, and we had the opportunity to be on the transition team for the Infrastructure Committee. Uh, myself and uh, also the vice chair of this council, Robbie Morris. It is a true testament to the speed at which uh, the governor is moving and his administration is moving that a year ago today we were talking about uh, opening up an opportunity for CDBG to be used as broadband and here today we are looking at the reality of 12 uh, different awards and covering uh, 27 counties in the state of West Virginia. So I think uh, I would be remiss if I did not say we're hoping that we can get a little bit more of the piece of the pie of CDBG for the next year uh, based on the demand that we have this year. So uh, I want to thank all of, uh, all of the applicants and the hard work that you've done. And as a council, we want to make sure that, that we're giving you the tools and the resources necessary to empower communities to solve this broadband problem just as we've done successfully with water and sewer. Uh, so again, thank you. Thank you, Rob. As we announce each project, please bring your entire team front and center for your photo with uh, Chief Hall. The first grant recipient that we will announce is the Clay County Commission. Clay County is the lead applicant for this regional broadband plan which will include Clay, Calhoun, and Roan counties. This project will benefit approximately 15,000 households. Funding will be used to develop a regional broadband infrastructure plan for the counties. This will promote a regional approach to broadband planning throughout the three counties and will include a comprehensive analysis of technical options, including middle mile and last mile infrastructure and delivery models to meet the needs of area residents and businesses. Congratulations to Clay, Calhoun, and Rent Counties.
please announce the award of thirty thousand dollars to the Fayette County Commission. So all involved in the Fayette County Commission project, please come forward. Uh, the Fayette County Broadband Plan project will affect uh, seventeen thousand six hundred and sixty-nine existing households. This study will enable the Fayette County Commission to determine the most feasible placement of last mile fiber to the homes and businesses. It will facilitate infrastructure development in unserved and underserved areas of Fayette County. This project is driven by the tourism industry as one of the primary economic sectors in Fayette County. This project will enable the county to address the lack of quality, affordable broadband to improve its ability to market the area to potential businesses and tourists. Uh, congratulations to Fayette County Commission. Governor Justice is pleased to announce the award of $50,000 to the Gilmer County Commission for the Gilmer County Fixed Wireless Design Plan. This project will benefit approximately 2,000 existing households. The plan will enable the Gilmer County Commission to pursue a wireless broadband internet network through the development of strategies to obtain federal grants to support telecommunications infrastructure development. The project will support the Gilbert County Industrial Park, which was recently expanded, but lacks adequate broadband infrastructure service. Congratulations to the Gilbert County Commission. Governor Justice is pleased to announce the award of $402,795 to Hampshire County Commission. Uh, all those involved in the Hampshire County Commission project, please come forward. The Cape and Bridge Broadband Expansion Project, the project will benefit 1,050 residents. This project will expand the county-owned backbone fiber network to bring broadband into eastern Hampshire County and the Cape and Bridge municipal area. This area has significant potential for small to mid-sized business development due to its proximity to Washington, D.C. and Virginia metro areas. Building a hybrid broadband network in this part of the county will support additional business development and enhance internet connectivity in unserved and underserved areas. Congratulations, Hampshire County Commission. Governor Justice is pleased to announce a grant of $125,000 to the Jackson County Commission for the Sandyville Area Wireless Broadband Project. This project will serve 234 households and will enable the Jackson County Commission to utilize grant funding to install wireless infrastructure and equipment to serve the Sandyville area with broadband internet connectivity. This project is strongly associated with efforts to improve public safety in the area with little to no wireless connectivity. The project will serve residents, businesses, and elementary schools and other community facilities in the Sandyville area. Congratulations to the Jackson County Commission. $75,000 to the Mingo County Commission. Everyone involved with the Mingo County Commission project, please come forward. <laughs> Mingo Gilbert Broadband Planning Project. The project will benefit 1,963 existing households. The Mingo County Commission is developing a strategic plan to bring broadband internet service to the town of Gilbert and surrounding areas. The project is viewed as critical to the development of the local economy, which is increasingly focused on tourism due to the development of the Hatfield-McCoy trail system. This project is widely viewed as critical to future economic development in this area. Congratulations to the Mingo County Commission. announce a grant in the amount of $75,000 to the Morgan County Commission for the Morgan County Broadband Plan. This planning project will enable the county to pursue the development of affordable high-speed broadband internet service through the utilization of existing tower structures and radio facilities. This connectivity will allow residents and businesses throughout Morgan County to benefit from the many applicable uses of broadband connectivity. Congratulations to the Morgan County Commission.
Governor Justice is pleased to announce the award of $300,000 to the Nicholas County Commission and the Richwood Project. <coughs> All those involved with Nicholas County Commission and Richwood Project, please come forward. Broadband planning and infrastructure project for the Hinkle Mountain and Little Laurel areas of Nicholas County. The project benefits 150, 114 existing households. This pilot project will provide broadband service to the residents of the Hinkle Mountain and Little Laurel areas, as well as the city of Richwood and Nicholas County. The project will be completed in conjunction with an existing CBBG water extension project to demonstrate potential opportunities for the integrated construction of utility lines and fiber infrastructure. Congratulations to the City of Richmond and Nicholas County. Governor Justice is pleased to announce a grant in the amount of $125,000 to the Taylor County Commission as the lead applicant for the Region 6 Regional Broadband Strategic Plan. This project will benefit a total of 260,000 hall residents in the area. The Taylor, Doddridge, Harrison, Marion, Montegalia, and Preston County Commissions will partner in a regional update of the area's broadband strategic plan. The report will pinpoint the areas in which broadband service is lacking, assess available infrastructure, and prioritize recommendations for improvement in the area, with an emphasis on unserved and underserved areas. Congratulations to the Taylor County Commission and the um, partner counties. Justice is pleased to, announce, pleased to announce the award of $30,000 to the Tyler County Commission. All those involved in the Tyler County Commission project, please come forward. <laughs> Tyler County Broadband Development Plan project benefit 9,245 residents. The Tyler County Commission has identified broadband internet service as the county's top non-water and sewer utility project. The growth of Tyler County and its potential for further success through educational and economic avenues is dependent on broadband internet service. This broadband study will map the specific steps necessary to achieve greater connectivity throughout Tyler County. Congratulations to the Tyler County Commission. Justice is pleased to announce the award of $125,000 to the Webster County Commission as the lead applicant for the Broadband Initiative for Southern West Virginia. This project will benefit 125,000 area residents. Uh, would everyone associated with this project please step forward? The Webster County Commission is the lead applicant in developing this broadband initiative for Southern West Virginia, a regional plan to bring reliable and affordable in broadband internet service to Webster, Fayette, Greybriar, Nicholas, and Pocahontas counties. The plan will include an analysis to provide the most efficient and cost-effective broadband system to serve residents and businesses. The project will be pursued in conjunction with the regional broadband planning project led by the Wyoming County Commission and will include 11 Southern West Virginia counties in the combined projects. Congratulations to the Webster County Commission and the partner counties. $125,000 to the Wyoming County Commission. With all involved in the Wyoming County Commission project, please come forward.
Regional Broadband Strategic Plan, project benefit, 85,510 existing households. The Wyoming County Commission is the lead applicant in developing a plan to bring reliable and affordable broadband internet service to McDowell, Mercer, Monroe, Raleigh, Summers, and Wyoming counties, a true regional approach. The study will include the review of technology assets and infrastructure needed to expand broadband service in the region. This study is pursued in collaboration with the Broadband Initiative for Southern West Virginia, led by the Webster County Commission. The combined studies will provide a roadmap for reliable and affordable broadband service in 11 Southern West Virginia counties. Congratulations to the Wyoming County Commission. Well, I've got about an hour of speech to give. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Governor, appreciate you uh, coming today and participating in all this. So enjoy your enjoy your afternoon here in Charleston. Thank you very much.